So I feel like this video should be titled The Rise of the Chubby Stick because I feel like up till a couple of years ago we didn't even know what a chubby stick was. They weren't kind of a focal point in the makeup world but now they're such a commonly used, commonly known lip product that has kind of started in one place and then treacled its way down to the drugstore and so many different brands are doing them that I wanted to come on here and talk to you about my favourite kind of drugstore versions and just give you a little mini overview. So the first thing you're probably thinking is what the hell is a chubby stick if you don't know a chubby stick is basically a chubby stick of lip product this is a prime example so it kind of is shaped like a lip liner but it's fat like a crayon and it has various different um, textures various different shades and you apply it like you would a regular lipstick and you can kind of get the shape a little bit better like you would with a liner as well so that's what it is the first company that kind of brought these to our attention were Clinique when they did the infamous chubby stick but obviously there have been other brands over the years that have kind of done a similar thing but the Clinique ones were the first one I think that kind of became a very important um, noticeable part in the makeup world. Then kind of following the Clinique craze, I think Revlon was the first brand that kind of became very famous for doing these and they came into our attention first. So I'm gonna talk about some of the Revlon ones I've got here first. So the original ones that Revlon did were just the um, what were they called? The Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. So I've got one right here, this is in the shade Rendezvous. And you can see it's got very similar packaging to the Clinique ones. A kind of slight mentally scent and the finish of these is a very kind of medium, slightly opaque um, finish. The, the lighter shades are not as opaque as this one, they're kind of a little bit sheerer. But a nice kind of, not too matte, not too shiny shade, lasts really well on the lips and that's something that kind of is very um, common with chubby sticks is the lasting power. So these were the kind of original ones from Revlon that really started to dupe the Clinique ones. Then the kind of other Revlon ones that you have now are the Revlon Color Burst Balm Stains, which are a similar concept. This one is in Love Sick. This is actually a really nice color. You can kind of twist them up like this. They're quite a solid formula, which is always nice. So you can kind of just see here, these are a little bit more glossy, a little bit sheerer perhaps, but then Revlon decided that they were going to do a matte version. So this is one of the Colour Burst Matte Balms because we all love a matte lip nowadays. This is what I'm wearing today on my lips actually and this is in the shade Striking Spectacular. So I'll show you right here, you can see this is just a kind of nice matte kind of warm red shade. They do a lot of shades in these, they're all really really lovely, not, very, not too drying, buildable. You can kind of shear them out a little bit with a balm but really nice. But my favourite offering from Revlon, I think, has to be the Colour Burst Lacquer Balm. These are the glossy versions, and this colour is coquette. I've worn this colour so much since I've got it. It's just this pretty kind of peachy pink colour. Really kind of sheer, but buildable. Glossy, beautiful um, finish. Lasts really well on the lips, really moisturising, and just a beautiful colour. So they're my favourite offering from Revlon. Some of these are a little bit shimmery, which I'm not too keen on, but this one is really lovely. And then I've got a couple of other offerings from different brands. So, um, as I said, Revlon were the kind of originals, I feel, and then lots of other brands like Rimmel brought out their version. This is the Lasting Colour Rush, and they call it just an intense colour balm. The shade of this, I can never, ever figure out what it is, but it's just a kind of nude shade. This is possibly my least favourite. The finish is really nice, but it, I feel like it kind of goes a little bit crumbly and a little bit patchy on the lips, and I don't love the packaging of these for some reason. I think they just look a little bit cheaper. But um, if you're on a budget, a great option. Then my kind of favourite, favourite budget options that I've got right here are by MUA. And I've got a couple of different examples of the MUA ones right here to show you. If I could just find the other one, that would be helpful. Here it is. So the first one is one of the MUA Power Pounce in, and they call it a Colour Intense Tint and Balm. This is in the shade Runaway. This one's a little bit smushed because I wore this loads in the summer and it melted on me one day. But it's just like a nice kind of hot um, orangey red colour. And then this was one I wore all through autumn and this is in the shade, um, what's this called? Broken Hearted. This is really beautiful. It's just a kind of corally, deep, 
pink shade really lovely and the kind of vibrant pink they do in these is really nice as well I just wish they had a wider color selection Revlon definitely wins in terms of the color selection in these then Topshop kind of came out with these quite a while ago and they were their lip sticks these are kind of similar to the Revlon mattes they do kind of more shimmery um, shiny versions now but these are very matte and quite dry in fact and I'll show you right here, you can see that the texture is quite a sort of dry, slightly chalky texture. Not my favourite, just because I have really dry lips. If you don't have dry lips, you will like these. This is in the shade Koi, and it's a lovely kind of peach shade. Speaking of peaches, my favourite one is this one by Bourgeois, and this is their Colour Boost in shade Peach on the Beach, which I think is just adorable. And I'm running out of places to swatch, and I've just realised it's gone all smooshed. That's sad, I hate it when that happens. But I will swatch it anyway because I'm a dutiful YouTuber. I said dutiful, not beautiful, just in case you got confused. <laughs> but it's this shade right here, really pretty peach colour. And these have a really nice finish. I would be interested in trying some more of the bourgeois shades. And then also L'Oreal have got their version. And this is really nice. This is the one that had the lowest expectations of, I think, and surprised me the most. This is their Glam Shine um, Balm Gloss. And this is in the shade... Um, mm, that's an interesting thing because I don't know what shade this is in. It just says made in China and I'm presuming, oh right here it is. Um, All for watermelon, this is the shade. Nice packaging, really pretty, summery and it's just a kind of pinky watermelon shade. Nice and kind of glossy as the name would suggest, they're a type of gloss stain. Really, really nice and a different kind of hero product. So if I had to pick my kind of top three best it would be this one, the Revlon, um, what are these called? I, never, I can never remember, the Lacquer Balms. And I do like the Revlon mattes as well. They're really nice. But the best budget option, undoubtedly, is MUA. Please bring out more colours for spring, summer, MUA, because then it'll be perfect. But these are my kind of preferred lip products at the moment just because they're so easy to use they give you a nice kind of shape they don't sort of move around as much as traditional lipsticks do and i just think they're a great great product and i think it's really interesting how they've suddenly burst out into the scene and now we all know what they are but two years ago it wasn't really a thing so i hope you enjoyed this video i think it's just something a little bit different and a little bit more um kind of in depth for you let me know what your favorite chubby sticks are i'd love 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 to know if you've got any recommendations or any shade recommendations and I will see you all in my next video.